Hello everybody, I uh, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with a C, uh, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a um, contest response video um, for Ron Haggerty. Uh, Metal Ron, as I uh, know him. Uh, he doesn't go by that name anymore, but when I first started watching his channel, Metal Ron he was. Um, anyway, Ron is... Um, I'm not sure if he's passed it now, but he was approaching 700 subs. Um, so he was running a contest um, based around the number seven. Seven questions all based around number seven. Um, we'll get straight into it, guys, shall we? Um, his first question was, show a band with seven in the name, and if you couldn't do that, with seven letters in the name of the band. So um, I've gone for seven, which is... I've tried to keep all of these um, entries sort of with a sort of thread around Ron and, and what he's into. I know he's, he likes a bit of sabotage. Uh, this is Seven Witches, um, 2002 release. Their third album, if I remember rightly, Exiled to Infinity on One. Um, Jack Frost, the founder of this band, um, I think he played maybe live with sabotage. Um, Wade Black, X Crimson Glory, Brian Craig, um, Destiny's End. Um, he's got a special guests on here, Joe Komu, um, Komu, Joe Komu, uh, on one of the tracks. Um, I think he had, I'm sure he had something to do with Annihilator and maybe Overkill, if I remember rightly. And uh, John Oliver, uh, obviously from Sabotage. Well, yeah, Seven Witches, American. Um, Heavy metal band, power metal. Um, yeah, there you go. Seven witches, seven. Um, okay, question two. Show an album with the number seven in it. And this was um, the first one that springs to my mind. Possessed and seven churches. Um, a thrash metal classic. I know this is almost classed as like the first sort of death metal album, um, but for me it's kind of that crossover that's got that that thrash sort of bridge in the the death the death metal. Um, and I, I think the reason being is the last song, if you can see on there, if it can uh, pan in. But the actual song is called Death Metal. So you know these guys are probably um, one of the the reasons why the death metal term was coined. But yeah, Seven Churches by Possess. Um, Raw, dirty, thrashy death metal. Okay, um, question three. And sorry about the, the voice, by the way. I'm suffering from the A fever today, bad. So, um, got a watery eye, bunged up nose, itchy throat, nightmare. Uh, question three. Show an album from a year ending in seven. So I thought I'm going to go for 2007. Not a very renowned year, um... For metal releases anyway but this album came out um, and it's a cracker this is municipal waste uh, and the art of partying excellent crossover uh, thrash metal um, I'm sure Ron I'm sure I've heard Ron saying he was a, a fan of DRI so I thought it was quite apt um, you know with them being sort of that crossover thrash style uh, yeah municipal waste this is their second release but yeah, superb uh, old school thrash with that modern edge, but like I said, that crossover sort of uh, element to them. Question four. Show an album with seven tracks. And Ron will know this one for sure. Cathedral, The Forest of Equilibrium. An absolute doom metal classic. Uh, Lee Dorian, the vocalist, formerly of Napalm Death. Um, Gary Jennings, used to be a guitarist in Acid Rain, and this guy, uh, is he called Adam Adam Lehman, Lehman, something like that, he was in Acid Rain as well, but uh, this is um, 1991 release on Earache, uh, proper depressing slow doom. Um, when this first came out back in the day, I wasn't too sure because you know I was I was sort of listening to death metal and thrash metal and this come along and it was a it was just slowed right down. If you've had it on a record, you wouldn't have, 
been convinced you were playing at the right speed. Uh, and Lee Dorian's voice sounded nothing um, like his days in, uh, in Napalm Death. But yeah, you can see there, seven tracks. Um, a classic album, and I know this is uh, the vinyl version of this uh, is very high up on Ron's uh, want list. It's a grail for him, so um, and it is. It's hard to get. I have to say. Tra uh, question five: Talk about a seven-minute song that you love, and I'm going to go for the song one. Now it's not exactly seven minutes long, it's seven minutes and 24 seconds, but um, when this song came out, I mean it's not a song that I really listen to that much these days, because uh, I've heard it so many times, but it is a, a classic, classic song, but um, Metallica, you know, they were, they were putting albums out, and, and quality, quality albums, Ride the Lightning, Mass Rubble Puppets, this come out, they weren't making videos for anything, they weren't getting involved in any of that, that record company bullshit anyway this album came out they recorded a video for one um, and it kind of sent them into the stratosphere you know it, it got them out there on MTV um, and everybody uh, knew exactly who Metallica were classic classic um, song um, about a soldier uh, who was injured um, by a bomb in the war uh, and was sort of trapped in his mind was perfect working order but his body was um, you know he was in a bad way I'm, I'm sure he lost his arms and his legs um, according to the lyrics um, but yeah just just a it was great subject matter it was a great song um, video was brilliant uh, and I always loved it you know um, it's just a classic classic um, thrash metal song but I was watching Eric Winebender and his contest entry and he had found a song that was ex exactly seven minutes so technically the question was talk about a seven minute song and I found one television their debut album Marky Moon um, this band is like a, a post-punk sort of avant-garde old metal um, band, I discovered these actually because Tom Verlaine um, was due to produce Jeff Buckley's second album um, and I wanted to know who this Tom Verlaine was a massive, massive Jeff Buckley fan I'm sure if you've seen my videos you know that um, and I wanted to know who he was anyway, I bought this and the last song on it, Torn Curtain I hope you can see there if it pans in but it's exactly seven minutes long so technically, Eric, you can't win the competition outright. I'm there with you, brother. Television marquee move. Uh, question six. Show the seventh album in a band's catalogue. And again, like I say, trying to keep in keeping with, with what Ron's into. This is Suffocation. Um, and I believe that this band are from... Um, Ron's hometown or home city. Um, this is their seventh album, Pinnacle of Bedlam. Uh, nice little gatefold affair there. This one's got the uh, the DVD with it in there somewhere. Um, absolutely superb, brutal death metal. Um, if you were going to try and get into death metal and you weren't sure about the uh, the genre. This is one seriously, seriously brutal heavy band. Um, maybe not the best starting point for a, for a novice, but um, once you get into it, yeah, just superb, superb musicianship. Um, and by by this album, I think there was only one, maybe no two. The guitarist and the singer, two original members um, left in them. But yeah, look at that artwork. That's a cracking album cover, isn't it? And question seven, share one thing um, you like about Ron's channel. Well, I suppose before I started making videos myself um, and was just watching um, and sort of plucking up the courage I suppose to get involved, um, there was about four or five channels that I watched more than anything. Um, Metal Mickey was one. 
1973, Darcy, Six Strings, Nine Lives, Scott Waters, and Ron, Metal Ron, as I knew him then. Um, so I suppose all of those guys were kind of a bit of an inspiration for me to, to get involved and do this. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I think Ron's been been a, uh, an integral part of the VC for many years, and like I say, he was uh, it was one of the first channels that I started watching. So um, thanks for the inspiration, Ron. Um, we have been listening to Seven Witches, uh, like I say, power heavy metal, um, superb, superb. Um, you know, if you're into Sabotage and Crimson Glory and um, it's, it's of that ilk anyway but that's it um, thanks very much for watching good luck to everybody who has entered Ron's competition good on you Ron for, for running this um, and yeah um, take care everybody until I see you again um, all the best bye bye